Okay, so week seven, catapults. More engineering, my favorite. Um, so you're going to continue with the science journals, you're going to continue with the scientific method, with the predictions and all those things. Um, same as last week, um, but this week, catapults are a different, you're coming at it from a different angle. So the, the standard that we're trying to get across is that there was an issue that someone needed to have solved, and they solved it using a catapult, i.e. they needed to get a large boulder or large object from one place to another place. So you're going to want to start this activity by kind of explaining why the catapult was invented. Um, you don't have to get into the gory details of it. Some of them probably have seen movies or played video games that have catapults or something like that, but just talk about the fact that it gets a very heavy object from one place to another by um, throwing it through the air. And you don't want to get too technical with the design of it because it it's like levers and it's torque and they're just that's that's high school and college stuff that's not second grade stuff what you want to focus on is the fact that they have a body and they have a little basket and like the very basic parts of the engineering design so start out with talking about the purpose of a catapult and then move on to the very basics of the design it's like you have the the long the we're using tongue depressors or popsicle sticks or something like that as the body and then you have the arm and you have the basket that holds the object and how each of those work together and why each of those is important and talking about designing and building and testing and that sequence um, focus more on the fact that if you test and it doesn't work, how can we improve the design? Come at it from that angle more so than like the real physics of a catapult. Like that's not our goal this week. Um, and then moving on to the actual activity, I it's really important that they they have a photo in front of them because second graders may or may not be able to come to the conclusion of like how to actually build a catapult so if you give them at least one design idea which is included in the lesson just a photo of it um that'll help a lot they'll probably all end up making that one and they are still probably going to need your help with it um just understanding how they need to like wrap their bands around and how they need to connect things and why things need to be a certain way they might try to like put the arm popsicle stick like right next to the base one and like obviously it's not going to be able to like be pushed down and throw anything they might build one that just like throw something straight up as opposed to forward so you're probably gonna, you're, you're going to have to be very hands-on and walking around and being really really active um as you are every week but this week especially they might need a lot of help with the building part and that you make sure you have plenty of time to do testing because they're gonna love it they make sure they can like maybe show their friends and like throw different types of things bring different size objects see what works and what doesn't what works the best um this is a good one to like take little videos of when you have their their photo release forms because you get the whole action of the, the catapult actually throwing something um and if you do want to one thing you can do to add a little bit of like real design is kind of break it up into like a like a little scorecard type of situation where you like score their design and their testing and that like whether or not their arm worked and like break it up into categories like that um i don't really feel the need to do that uh as long as they understand like if their catapult worked why it worked and if they didn't if it didn't still using your science journal still writing stuff down making sure they're very active and engaged but that should be enough in terms of evaluation is just their science journal making sure they can write a solid conclusion but another fun one and another one that they'll like a lot